Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guests on this episode are two very young, vibrant um, lady and gentleman, Miriam Giwa and Bamidile Olamilekong. Hello. Okay, so I said not to talk much because this one is the popular one. She yeah. is also popular, but I know I'm more. <laughs> this I'm is the popular Pexy. Yeah, yeah. And they are basically digital marketers, but they are diverting into. Um, movie making and it's quite interesting to have them on this episode where we are discussing mm. Netflix coming to Nigeria. Yeah. He is also a lawyer so don't try to be diplomatic here. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. before we get into Two Way Streets which is the first your first attempt at producing a yeah, movie and for a course before we get there what do you think about Netflix in Nigeria? <laughs> okay so um, I think to a very good extent Nigerians have actually adopted you know um, good, uh, a good streaming culture when it comes to entertainment. Mm -hmm. You see people streaming a lot of music and um, movies right now. And a lot of us, you know, and up until recently, there have been a lot of Nigerian, you know, content coming up on Netflix as in more than before. So if Netflix is thinking they want to come and establish here or setting here, I don't think it's a bad idea. But what I am scared of is the kind of content that mm -hmm. we'll be putting on there. Mm -hmm. Except we're going to lie to ourselves. We don't have a lot of people telling our stories, mm -hmm. right? Totally Most of way. our filmmakers will watch one classic American film and look for how to adapt it mm -hmm. and just change it to Nigeria. You know, we have a lot of stories that can be told. Growing up, I enjoyed watching movies like Izakaba, mm -hmm. watching Egg of Life. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see these movies and you see your culture. Nobody can forget the shower right there, the Tulu and the Lens, right? But now you see somebody copying one American, you know, movie out there. So if Netflix is coming and our filmmakers are ready to tell our story, yay. But if, if they're going to come, I will see it to be, you know, the same thing that mm. you pay money to watch in the cinema and then you go and cry. I'm like, why did I waste my money and my time? <laughs> right? If that's what they want to bring on there, I don't, I don't think we're ready, okay. content-wise. Yeah. Uh, picture, how about you? Um, well, so when I, I think I was, I was with Miriam yesterday we were at the clinic and then I saw the tweet that, oh, Netflix Nigeria is not Nigeria and I'm like, and it's for Hollywood, and it's for Hollywood, and it's for, for, Hollywood, it's for the first thing that came to my mind is, I honestly hope they don't fuck this up mm. because, yeah, the because, yeah, I, I hope they I'm sorry, I hope they don't mess it up because I mean, I've seen, I've seen like Netflix US, you know, I've seen how they churn out really lovely content, you mm. know, I've even, even, they go as far as, you know, creating sub accounts for different projects that they have on Netflix, yeah. say for example, Stranger, um, Stranger Things, Stranger things oh right? God. Like the kind of content that they create. First thing I told Ram is, I hope this book can create this kind of content, <laughs> you know, and it's a different thing talking to like Nigerian. So yeah. like you need to speak the Nigerian language, you know. Mm. I was shocked I didn't see Jackie Silva and a couple of other people, you know. Mm -hmm. Veterans, you know, they can actually, they can, they can, we can understand that they actually started this thing from the scratch, mm. you know, like mm -hmm. a Dele Odule is not there, you know. Or don't like they might have, you know, nice for like the entire mm -hmm. comic field, you know. So it just, it didn't feel, it felt like it was a wedding party, Netflix Niger thing. Mm. Do you understand? I mean, okay. lovely people that were there, but they could have done more. Yeah. You know, they could have gone deep down into the entire, you know, the, the likes of, um, um, you know, people that make movies from Enugu, you know, all of all those movies that you said, like, I can't so pop could have been there. Do you understand? So yeah. Yeah. there wasn't diversity, you know, that's what that really shows that there might be a fundamental problem going forward, you know, yeah. for the Netflix Niger thing. And also, you know, what my, my second biggest fear was what happens to. Iroko TV, mm. Sin One TV. Mm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So like this, like yeah. an international company, you know, coming to sort of cripple. Now, I mean, well, yeah. that also gives <laughs> them like chance to you know sort of buckle up and yeah. do more content, you know, for like Sin One, Funky and the rest of that people, you know. But then if they're able to you know create content that resonates with Nigerians, you know, that is localized, the likes mm. of just like you said, the old Genevieve kind of movies, the old Omota Lab, Half Sister mm. kind of movies, you know, those kind of things would bring this sort of mm. nostalgia, you know, that would make us feel like, oh man, because. Truth is, many people, I mean, we talk about Akin Apo's old movies again. Some people can't even get access to it, you know, mm -hmm. because they don't have them in a particular mm -hmm. storage. So if they can buy and rewrite all of all those movies, then it might be worth it. But if it's going forward, we've seen all of all these things in cinemas yeah. before, like I said. If it's wedding party, same I'll go to the story, cinema. If it, do you understand? So if it's still going to be the same old oh, Lion's same Art same coming old. again on Netflix after it goes to the cinema, Living in bondage. it wouldn't really be... Yeah. Is all the way we celebrate me. Nigerian movies going to Netflix? Like, Do you understand? Like, uh, why are we not celebrating going on our <laughs> own platform? Okay, and let, let, not when you're talking Netflix of thing. our own platform, what platform are you talking about? We're talking about the likes of Sinwon, Iroko TV. Iroko TV and but I think when we are having this conversation, I think I'm comfortable with talking about Iroko because we know the level of marketing that Iroko. goes into Iroko. And yes. you see a lot of promotions. Mm -mm. 
let's not even go see Danny. Danny. We're talking of a, a platform where you pay money, subscribe, and be able to get yeah. variety of content. Mm. So if you go to an Iroko, you can stay there the whole day, watch different things, things you've not seen, and they're making waves. They, they publish their, their growth rates every time, even it's, outside... It's even outside Nigeria, like they're even bigger in the Asian side and they're making a lot of waves out mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So yes, when people are deliberately pushing their products, you understand that, okay, there is an option. How many contents are we watching on Sim? Well, the only time I know that there's a Sim mm -hmm, one Jennifer's. is when there's Jennifer's Diary. Mm -hmm. Am I going to subscribe to just watch Jennifer's okay, Diary? To be honest, So yeah. if you want to compete with Netflix, we know what Netflix is bringing to the table. I and we know, know what we're well, 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 Netflix coming to Nigeria is as a result of data. Mm -hmm. They've done their, they've checked. There's enough money. And they know that a lot of Nigerians mm -hmm. are consuming, you know, Netflix content. We talk about it all the time. Now, let me bring you back home. Before Netflix, Nigerians in diaspora depended on YouTube. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why Ibaka was big. That's where Iroko started from. Mm -hmm. We have Yoruba Wood TV now. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the Libra TV Libra and the TV, rest, yeah. right? Then... Netflix knows that, oh, people are beginning to... Now, what are Niger are Nigerians watching Nigerian film on Netflix? Mm. Okay, I wish we had more time to talk about yeah. this, but we need to go into two way streets. Oh. And before <laughs> that, let's take a look at the trailer, and then um, Pexy will tell us what the movie is all about. What was that all about? What was that all about? You shave, and you say to die. I'm not even on your level. You know how hard it is to watch this trailer. I've been waiting for you all day. I've been waiting for the people to meet you. How can you do such a thing with all the good kinds of guys? No, be too much. You know the whole thing is for you. I've been waiting for you. You are. You are. Say you go look my face. Okay, so very quickly, what is this project about? Okay, so Two Way Street is a story that came to me over a year ago. About a year ago. And I remember talking to him about it. I have this story and it would be nice to shoot it, you know, into a short film. And he was like, oh, yeah, it's nice. I like the story. And I'm like, oh, you play lead. Like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, got so good. He was able to, you know, feature in a, in a Yoruba yeah. movie, a feature-length film before we were able to shoot this. I tried to shoot this um, last year. I couldn't. I mean, the whole logistics and having a production team. But I shared the story with somebody. And, you know, he went home and he just called me one day and said, can we do this? We had three days to, wow. you know, get the cast and the crew together. Mm -hmm. Now, what's, what makes Two Way Streets the story? Two Way Streets is, we always, we enjoy one narrative. Mm -hmm. And I'm, 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 a, I'm a feminist or an egalitarian, but I believe in, you know, I believe in equality. Mm -hmm. And I also believe in equity, but I feel like in a way we are trying to, you know, empower the female gender. We are forgetting that we are going to raise boys too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, I feel like if we continue to go the way we're going, Forget while we are you know, doing that awareness and we're winning at it, we are forgetting the boy child. Yeah. And hopefully we'll not start having many needs in the future again. Mm -hmm. And then the cycle goes back. So this is exploring consent. Rape is a very big issue, right? But I have a lot of male friends and we talk. And I realize that sometimes the men have been programmed to feel like anytime they see sex, they should have it because... Oh, a man you be. But it's not like that. Mm. I mean, we are telling ladies, we are telling men that if a man is even, you know, in the process, I guess already having the sex. When she no? says no, stop. So why can't a man say no mm. to a lady that, you know, okay, sorry, wants to have sex? Okay, so you but in just a sentence, why would you want anyone to go look for this movie to watch it? Um, because it basically changes like the narrative and perspective, you know. So it's, it helps you better understand that consent is not just, you know, gender based. Mm -hmm. Consent is human based. So I mean, right. if, I'm, so if I'm male or I'm female, you know, if I say I'm not interested in this, you know, guys might not say they're not interested because or they'll say, oh, like you're not man enough, you know. Mm. But if, you, if, I, if I'm not in the mood, you understand, you should be able to understand that my no Means should no. actually mean no, not oh, but I thought I was giving you this and you're enjoying it. Yeah. No. Just stop. So. Okay, I wish you had more time with these amazing people, but unfortunately we don't. And um, thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this very conversation by visiting our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa, and also do subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Arousal TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo yeah, the cool, entire production <laughs> team. And our guests, Miriam and Bamidele, thank, thank you, you so for being for here. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us.